All right. Hey, God, son, come close. Come close. God, son, you. I need you to come close. Get Ezekiel chapter 3. You ask a good question. Why did we come out here? We're going to show you why we came out here. All right. We're going to show you why we came out here. Ezekiel chapter 3. We read the Bible. Do y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in God? We do too. All right. And we've come here to share the knowledge of God with you. All right. Come around. Come around to the front. Come around to the front. Ezekiel chapter 3, read verse 17. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Yo! Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Look, God's son, this is why we came out here. We came out here because what you see is the watchman of the house of Israel. That's, right. That's who you're looking at right now. Right. But what does a watchman do? What's a watchman supposed to do? A watchman. You put a watchman in a tower. What is he supposed to be looking for? What's he supposed to be looking for? Read it again. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. We're the watchman for the house of Israel. Right. Right. We've come out here to watch for the danger and to warn our people. Right. We've come out here to tell you to repent. Right. You understand? Because guess what? There's a judgment coming to this place. Right. And we don't want you to be destroyed. Right. You understand? Right. We need all of God's people, all of God's little sons, and all of God's little princesses to learn the truth. And the truth is that we're the Israelites according to the Holy Bible. Right. Right. Read on. Son of man, I made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Hear what? The word at my mouth. We've come to bring God's words. Right. Because the Bible says if any man speak, let him speak the oracles of God. Right. So right. we've come to bring God's word to you. This isn't our opinion. Right. We're not here to teach our opinion. Right. We're going to teach the truth according to the Holy Bible. Right. Right. Come on. And give, therefore, hear the word at my mouth. And give them warning. Give them what? Give them warning. Because if we don't give you warning, you're going to be destroyed upon the return of Christ. Right. Christ is coming back with fierce anger. He's not coming back with hugs and kisses. Right. You understand? He's coming back to destroy all wickedness and to cleanse this land. Right. Come on. And give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speaking to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you hear what the Bible just said? We got to give you warning. Because if we don't give you warning, guess what's going to happen to us? We're going to be judged right. for not telling you to do better. Right. You understand? You ain't supposed to be out here like that, young man. You got your pants hanging off your ass. Jeez. You understand? You ain't got no shirt on. It's little girls out here. You understand? You ain't supposed to be out here like that. This ain't not, it's not a good example. You walked up smoking weed. What you were smoking? Smoking cigarette? What you smoking? You, you had something in your mouth. What was he smoking? You know. Huh? Now don't leave. Don't leave. Because we got to correct you. Right. You understand? Right. We, we supposed to be fathers to, the, to our young one. Right. Right. We supposed to be mothers to our young one. Right. Right. You understand? Right. So a real mother is going to correct their children. Right. A real father is going to show correction to their children. Right. That's what we come out here to do. You understand? Verse 5. Read verse 5. Verse 4, verse 4. Verse 4. Come on. The, book, the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 4. Yeah. And he said unto me, son of man, go, get thee into the house of Israel. So why, why did we come to this neighborhood? Because this neighborhood is full, is full of Israelites. Right. This neighborhood is full of blacks. Right. This neighborhood is full of Hispanics. Right. This neighborhood is full of Native Americans. Right. You understand? We are the Israelites according to the Holy right. Bible. That's why we came here. Right. We could have went anywhere in the world. But we came to this neighborhood today because it's, it's full of all God's little babies. That's why we came here. Read it again. And he said unto me, son of man, go. Get thee into the house of Israel. To the house of who? To the house of Israel. No, go, to the, go to the white man. Get thee into the house of Israel. No, go to the Chinese man. Get thee into the house of Israel. Go to the Japanese man. Unto the house of Israel. Go to the Egyptians over there in Africa. And he said unto me, son of man, get thee unto the house of Israel. The Israelites are the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We came out here to teach the Israelites. According to the Bible, that's who we're supposed to bring the gospel to. We're supposed to take the gospel to the Israelites. What are the Israelites at? If you look up ghetto, you know what's going to tell you? A place where the Jews reside. Well, when I go to the ghetto, 
I see all brothers and sisters that look just like y'all. Right. That look just like me. Right. And any ghetto I go to across the United States of America and beyond, you know who's going to live in the worst places? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Right. You know why? Because we're the Jews. Right. We're the Israelites according to the Holy Bible. Right. That's the truth that's been hidden from us right. for hundreds of years. Right. Hundreds of years we've been walking around with no identity. Right. You understand? What's your, what's your nationality? Where do you come from? What's your nationality? Where do you come from? What's your nationality? What nation do you come from? Who are you? What nation do you come from? Which one? An example, okay. You come from the land of Germany, right? So you are an Edomite, right? You come from the land of Haiti. So you're a Levite, you understand? What nation do you come from? Which one? You come from the land of Egypt, so you're an Egyptian. You come from the land of Nigeria, so you're Nigerian, you understand? What nation do you come from? Which one? Give me a give me a location that, that you have a heritage and a culture that you identify that you identify with. Which one? Which one? God son. What nation you come from? What you mean? What nation do you, if you was to somebody was to ask you, what's your race? What would you tell them? What you mean? Black. black. You black. You see what I'm saying? Now can you go to the land of my sister? My sister with the green the green shirt on. You, 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 come on, come down here. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Cause the young men and the young the young daughters down here, you understand? And I want to make sure we also have that, that next generation here as well present for what we're bringing out. Because I asked the young man, what's his race? And you know what he told me? He said black. But if I ask you, now if I ask you, ma'am, can I go to the land of black? What would you tell me? Where can I go to go visit black? Where can I go? What language does black speak? English. English? English? Who taught black English? Me. Huh? Who taught black English? Who? You think Africans taught black English? Ameri who are the Americans? Are the Americans the same people as the black? Or are they different? Man, who said it? You see what I'm saying? African-American. We're going to show you something out of this Holy Bible, all right? Give me John chapter 8, verse 32. All right, John chapter 8, verse 32. We're going to tell y'all what the truth is. All right, because we've been lied to for a very, very long time. That's right. You understand? We're not black, we're not Negroes, and we're not African American. Bring it out. Hear what you got. This is the book of John chapter 8 and verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. We shall know what? The truth. What's the truth? The truth is that God chose one nation That's to be right. above all nations upon the earth. That's, right. That's the truth. But your mother never taught you that. Your mm. father never taught you that. Right. Your Christian pastor never taught you that. Right. I'm going to show you it in the Bible. Read on. And ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know what? The truth. Come on. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall set us free. So once you know the truth, once you know who you are, where you come from, right. you understand? That's what's really going to set you free. Right. Once you have an identity, then you know who your enemy is. Right. Right. You understand? You don't know who you are, how you know who's against you. Right. How you know who the opposition is. Right. You don't know what team you belong on. Right. We're trying to show you this right now in the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. These are things your, your mother, your father, they never taught you. Right. They never taught you these things growing up. So we're here today to bring you the truth. That's right. And if there's anyone that challenges what we say, then just bring the Bible and prove that we're wrong. And we'll shut up and we'll leave. Right. But if you can't do that, just listen. Just listen. All right? Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord says that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a holy people. Come on. Right. right. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Have done what? Have chosen thee. He chose us. You understand that? If the Lord chose one nation, is that equality with God? You know why? Because there is no such thing as equality. Right. It doesn't exist with God in his Bible. Right. There's no such thing as equality. Right. It has never existed. Right. Wherever you go, you understand? In the whole wide world, who's ruling? The white man. Right. Wherever you go, the white man is always on top. 
and the black man is where? On bottom. He's on the bottom. Right. You understand? It's a young man. He know that. I know you know. You just don't want to say the answer. You understand? Wherever you go in the world, the black man is on the bottom and the white man is on top. Right. Because there ain't no such thing as equality. And there ain't no such thing as equality with God either. Right. You understand? Okay. Read on. Thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. But the Lord says that we're supposed to be the holy people. Well, what does that mean? The Bible's going to explain it. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. The Lord said that blacks, Hispanics, you understand? All these people that live in the ghettos that's impoverished, that's been through slavery. Right. You understand? That's still oppressed today, getting killed in the street. God said that we the holy people. Right. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. To be what? A special people. The Lord chose us to be a special people. Come on. Unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. Come on. Above. No, below. Above. Equal to. Above. Did you hear what the Bible just said? Bring it, up. it said that we're supposed to be where? We're supposed to be where, guys, sir? Above. Yes. It's above equal to. Bring it up. It's above equal to? Teach. No, it's not. No. No, above is not above. equal to. Read that part again. Above all people. Above who? All people. Above the white man. Right. All people. Above the Chinese man. Right. All people. Are we above the white man and the Chinese man today? No. But God said he called us to be above all nations right. upon the earth. That's what the Bible yeah. says. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Do y'all believe that? The, hey, I want you to show me Jesus on this sign right now. God's son, come close. That's what I want to show yeah. you when you were standing right here. Come here, I want you to show me Jesus, God's son. Which one of these pictures is Jesus? Teach. Huh? Which one of these pictures is? Show me Jesus. Show me Jesus on the picture. Wake him up. Where he at? How old are you? How old are you? 15. Show me Jesus. Is the one at the bottom? Where? This one right here? Yeah. You say this Jesus? Yeah. Give me Revelation chapter 1. Yeah. All right? Give me Revelation yeah. chapter 1. We're going to show you what Jesus looked like. Right. All right? We're going to show you what Jesus looked like. What's, your, what's, these, what's these two right here? What's your name? What's your name? Dayana. Say it again. Dayani? Dayana. What's your name right there with the do-rag on? Ayana. Say it again. Ayana. 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 Come close. Come close, Aunt. I want you to see what God's son just pulled, just pointed out. God's son say this right here, Jesus right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the Bible. Right. You understand? We're going to let the Bible show you what Jesus looked like. Right. Revelation chapter 1. Come on. This is the book of Revelation chapter 1, verse one. and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So who are we about to reveal to these children? The revelation of Jesus Christ. So y'all heard who we're about to reveal to you, right? We're reading the scriptures. Verse 3. All right. Come on. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. What does the Bible say? Blessed is he that readeth. Because the depiction of Christ and what he looks like, it's recorded in the Bible. Right. We just got to read it. Right. You understand? Right. If we read the Bible, what God's son go? Guys, if we read the Bible... If we read the Bible, we wouldn't say that this is Jesus. Right. We wouldn't say that. You would be blessed right now. You're cursed because you think that this is Jesus. Bring it out. That's not Jesus. Jeez. It's not. Verse 10. Verse 10. And I was in the spirit of the Lord's day. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Read it again. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. We're reading about John. This is one of Christ's disciples. Jeez. He saw Christ. Before he was put to death. Right. He saw Christ while he was being put to death. He saw Christ when he ascended to the heavens. And now he's seeing Christ in his glorified body. That's what he's reading. That's what you're, that's what you're uh, hearing right now. Come on. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And heard behind me a great voice. So which day is the Lord's day? Which day is the Lord's day? My sister walking the dog right here. I got a question for you. Which day is the Lord's day? Come close. Come close. Come close. What day is the Lord's day? I'm going to ask you, right? What, what day is the Lord's day? What you say? say she says Sunday. Which day is the Lord's day? Raise your hand if you agree with her. She says Sunday. That's the Lord's day. All right. Who says another day? Different. Who says it? What day do you say? She says Christmas. I never got that one before. What, what do you say? Black History Month. Black History Month is the Lord's day? That's a good try right there. <laughs> All right. All right. My sister, come close. Come close. We need you. We need you to come back. Come, come, come over here and build with us, all right? We're, we're, we're reading 
all right, in the Bible, about what day is really the Lord's day. Read that part again. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So this man, John, was in the spirit on the Lord's day. We're about to find out which day is the Lord's day. Give me Matthew chapter 12, verse 8. All right, we're going to show you which day is the Lord's day. Bring because guess what? It's not Christmas. Right. It's not Black History Month. That was a good right. try. Jeez. It's not uh, Sunday. Right. It's not any of these days. Read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 8. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Christ said he's the Lord of what day? The Sabbath day. He's the Lord of what day? The Sabbath day. Give me Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. All right, we're showing you what day is the Lord's day. Right. Did you hear what the Bible just said? The Lord is the Lord of what day? The Sabbath day. That's right. Read what you got. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Say it again. To remember the Sabbath day. What day is the Sabbath day, man? What day is the Sabbath day? Question for you. Which, which day is the Sabbath day? Don't, don't persevere. You don't know which day the Sabbath day? I'm asking you a question. What day is the Sabbath day? Do you know? You can say no if you don't know. It's fine. It's Sunday. She says it's Sunday. Did you hear that? All right, now we're going to show you what day the Sabbath day is. But finish this. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, most people think the Sabbath day is Sunday, like the young sister said. But that's not the Sabbath day. That's right. right. It's not. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. Watch this. All right? We're going to show you in the Bible what day the Sabbath day is. Read what you got. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 1. Come on. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day. On what day? On the seventh day. On what day? On the seventh day. Come on. God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. What did he do on the seventh day? God blessed the seventh day. He made it holy. He remembered it and he set it apart. Right. What day is the seventh day? Because that's when the Sabbath is. Right. What day is the seventh day? Who? What day is the seventh day? January fourteenth. No, the seventh day of the week. Which one? Which day is the seventh day of the week? What day does the week start? Let's start there. Monday. You say Monday. You agree with her? Everybody agree with her? She says no. What day does the week start? What day does the week start? Which day does it start on? Who got a cell phone out here? I know y'all got a cell phone. Pull up your calendar. Look at it and see which day the week starts. Right? We got all these smartphones. It's supposed, it's supposed to make us smart, right? Let's use them. It, what day is it? It's Sunday. Okay. So day one is what day? What day is day one? It's Sunday, right? So day two is what day? What day is day two? What day is day three? What day is day four? What day is day five? What day is day six? Friday. What day is day seven? Saturday. It's what day? Saturday. It's what day? Saturday. I need everybody to say it together. It's what day? Saturday. It's Saturday. Right. You understand? So the seventh day of the week is Saturday. Right. You understand? Read that verse again. Verse three. Listen to what the Bible said. We're reading about the Sabbath. Don't forget. Come on. And God blessed the seventh day. He blessed what day? The seventh day. He blessed the seventh day. Right. That's Saturday. Right. Come on. Yeah. And sanctified it. He did what? Sanctified it. So what day are we supposed to be? What, what day is supposed to be holy and sanctified? Saturday. Say it again. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. So, so why do all these churches tell us to come fellowship on Sunday? Why do all these churches open up their doors on Sunday? Right. Why is that? That's not according to this Bible. Right. That's a lie that we've been taught by the white man. Right. You understand? Many lies have been taught to us by our teachers. When we go to school, you know that curriculum you have? That's not, that wasn't created by your parents. That wasn't created by your uncles. That wasn't created by your cousins. You know who it's created by? The same people that put you in slavery. Right. You understand? That's why you don't know what day to go serve God on. Jeez. You don't know because your oppressor taught you what day to come serve God. Right. You understand? Not your family. We come out here to teach you the Bible, thus saith the Lord. Right. All right, go back to Revelation chapter 1. Read verse 10. 
All right, Revelation chapter 1, verse 10. These are precepts that are... Say it again. Who, this your brother? A new gentleman. Okay, all praises. This must be one of your brothers you care about. All right, Revelation chapter 1, verse 10. Listen good. This is the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. What day is the Lord's day? Saturday. Saturday. All right, so John was in the spirit on what day? Saturday. On Saturday. Come on. And heard behind me a great voice. Then he heard a great voice. You understand? What would you do? Hey, God's son. God's son. God's son. What's your friend's name? What's his name? Yeah, you. My name is Carlos. Carlos, come close, come close, come close, Carlos. All right, read that verse again. Stay right here, stay right here. Read that verse again, Carlos. I was in the spirit. I'm sorry, let me well. <laughs> come on. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice. Carlos, if you was in the spirit on Saturday, right? Right? And behind you, you heard a real loud voice. What would you do? What would you do? If you heard a real loud voice behind you, what would you do? What would be the first thing you do? You would look back. You understand? What you think John did? He looked back. Right. Read on. As of at the sound of a trumpet saying. So he heard a loud voice at the sound of a trumpet. The voice was real loud. Come on. I am Alpha and Omega. Verse 12. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice. Did you hear that? He did the same thing that you would do. If you heard a loud voice behind you, you would turn around to see where it was coming from? Right. Who's speaking? Who's calling me? The Lord was calling John. Just like the Lord is calling you today. Right. Are you going to turn around and see the voice? You understand? The voice of God is what he was hearing. Right. Come right. on. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. He saw what? Seven golden candlesticks. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like God's son, God's son, we're reading about Christ and what he looked like. Right. You got to pay attention to this. We're, no, we're reading what he looks like. All right? Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. My man, who got woolly hair on the earth? Bring it out. Who got woolly textured hair? Woolly textured hair. Who got woolly? My sister, who got woolly hair on the earth? What nation of people has woolly textured hair? People. Which one? Say it again. Black people. Black people. That's right. Black people have woolly hair. Hey. That's woolly hair right there. Gee. That's woolly hair. Hey. That's woolly hair right there. Right. You understand? Woolly hair. It's woolly hair all around me. That's right. You understand? Because my people got woolly hair. Right. right. Now, now, God, son, you said this was Jesus. Does he have woolly hair? No. He don't have woolly hair. So why would you say that's Jesus? Bring it out. He don't got woolly hair. You didn't know all praises to the most high. Right. Give me a pound, bro. You ain't know. You know why you said that? Because you was lied to. Right. And you repeated that lie. Right. That's why you said it. Right. Read on. His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow. As what? As white as snow. So Christ had white hair. You understand? And all the hair on his head was white. Because when you die, and Lord's will, you make it into the kingdom, you know what color hair you're going to have? Bring it out. It's going to be white. Right. Everybody right. hair going to be white. In, right. in, the, in, the, in heaven, who want to go to heaven? Raise your hand real high. All right, you see all these little hands out here? My man, you don't want to go to heaven? What? Are you serious? You don't want to go to heaven? Put your hand in the air, bro. Right. Yeah, you want to go to Thank you. You understand? Guess what? If we make it into the kingdom, all of our hair going to be white. That's right. It's going to be pure white. We're going to have pure white afros. Right. You understand? Thick and woolly. Just like Christ. That's what we're reading about. Right. Look at this hair right here. <laughs> look at that. Everybody take a look at this picture right here. It says that look like woolly hair that look like straight stringy hair. What it look like? God son, is this woolly hair or is this straight stringy hair right here? Which one? Look at the picture. Right here. Willy. It's woolly. That's right. That's how all of our hair gonna be in the kingdom. Right. right. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were what? As a flame of fire. Now, what color is fire? It's red. Why was Christ's eyes red like a flame of fire? Bring it out. Devil. Say it again. Devil. The devil? No, not the devil. We're talking about Jesus Christ. Right. You understand? We ain't talking about the devil. Why was Jesus Christ's eyes white? Why, I mean, I'm sorry. Why was his eyes red? The whites of his eyes was red. Why? 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 Why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think? How many of y'all got parents that drink? 
Mama. Your mama drank a little bit. Mama drank a little bit. You drink a little bit, sis? You drink a little bit here and there? Y'all drink a little bit here and there? A little wine here and there. Are right, we gonna see how Christ got down? Genesis chapter 49. Read what you got. This is the book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. What did the Bible say? His eyes shall be red with wine. My sister, my sister, my sister, over here. Hey, what happens? What happens when you drink some wine? What happens to your eyes? It's all right. What happens to him? Right. He already know. He already know. You understand? He say, he say, your eyes turn red. I see my mama's eyes, you know what I'm saying? I know I see my mama's eyes too. When they drink, they turn a little red. So why was Christ's eyes red? He was drinking wine. Hey, hey, hey. You understand? This, this young man, what's your name? DJ. DJ? What's your real name? Dante. Dante. This, this young man, sharp. He said Christ's eyes was red because he drank wine. Right. You understand? He's 100% correct. How many of y'all have drank wine before and your eyes turn a little red? The same thing happened to Christ. Go back to Revelation chapter 1. Yes, All right, back to Revelation chapter 1. Verse 14 again. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes was a flame of fire. So Christ say his eyes was as a flame of fire. Why? Because he drank wine. Now look at his eyes. What color are they? Red. What color are they? Red. What color are they? Red, right? I want them to see it. God's son, what color is his eyes? They red. Nation is men leading by example. 